Well, New York State works to fine tune how it's going to handle the sale of recreational marijuana in the future. Construction of a $200 million cannabis plant in South Buffalo could begin soon. Our Rob Hackford is live in South Buffalo tonight, where developers are getting ready now to put shovels in the ground. And Rob, how soon could this project begin? Yeah, Scott, Zephyr Investment CEO Brad Termini told me that they hope to have those shovels in the ground in the beginning half of next year for phase one of this project. Of course, the timeline for this project all depends on a lot of different things, including what the Buffalo Planning Board thinks about it. Well, Zephyr Investments hopes to get their approval for the first part of this cannabis complex at the Buffalo Lakeside Commerce Park when the planning board meets on October 25th. Well, he expects to close on the 47 acres needed for this project. It's located at the corner of Ship Canal Parkway and Laborers Way very soon. It's been over two years, actually, since Zephyr pitched building the massive multi-building facility in South Buffalo, which, when complete, as you mentioned, would have a total investment around $200 million. We're looking to get the full campus constructed and built as quickly as we possibly can. But as much progress as New York State has made, there's still a lot of left undetermined within the regulations. So that's why we're starting kind of a phase one to get going. And then we'll be able to have a more definitive timeline on the remainder of the project once the legislation, but once the legislation is drafted and adopted. Yeah, Termini added that Zephyr's long-term goal is to have around 800 people working at this facility with close to 250,000 square feet of growing space for recreational cannabis. However, how that cannabis will be sold still remains a mystery. Licensing from the state has not been released, and we have no timeline on when it could be. In South Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.